एच सी वर्मा चैप्टर फाइव क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वन कंसिडर द सिचुएशन सोन इन फिगर बोथ द पुलिस एंड द स्ट्रिंग आर लाइट एंड ऑल द सर्फेस आर फ्रिक्शन लेस ए फाइंड द एक्सलेशन ऑफ मास एम बी फाइंड द टेंशन इन द स्ट्रिंग सी कैलकुलेट द फोर्स एक्सर्टेड बाई क्लैम्प ऑन द पुली ए इन द फिगर लेट अस एज्यूम दैट द टेंशन इन द स्ट्रिंग पुलिंग द ब्लॉक ऑफ मास एम अपवर्ड्स टू बी टी सिंस नेट फोर्स ऑन मासलेस पुली इज ऑलवेज जीरो द टेंशन इन द स्ट्रिंग पुलिंग द ब्लॉक ऑफ मास टू एम टू आर्ट्स राइट इज टू टी इफ वी एज्यूम द एक्सलेशन ऑफ द ब्लॉक ऑफ मास टू एम टू बी ए द एक्सलेशन ऑफ द ब्लॉक ऑफ मास एम विल बी टू ए हाउ वी अराइव एट दिस रिजल्ट इज डिस्कस्ड इन डिटेल इन द सोल्यूशन ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फाइव You can click the link on the left side of the screen to see the solution of question number thirty-five. If you are using phone to watch this video, you can tap on the top right corner to watch the video. Now let us draw the free body diagram of the block of mass two m. The only force acting on it in horizontal direction is tension two t towards right. Since block is moving with acceleration a, two t must be equal to two m a, which implies t is equal to m a. In the free body diagram of block of mass m. gravity mg acts vertically downward while tension t acts in vertically upward direction also the block is moving downwards with acceleration 2a therefore mg minus t is equal to 2ma putting the value of tension in the equation we get mg minus ma is equal to 2ma which implies 3ma is equal to mg which implies a is equal to g by 3 the acceleration of block of mass m is 2a that is 2g by 3 this is our answer From equation one, we know that T is equal to m a. Putting the value of acceleration, we get tension is equal to m g by three. This is answer to part B. For part C, let us look at the free body diagram of the pulley. The pulley is being pulled by this string in vertically downward direction and towards left with tension T, and the clamp is applying some force say F on it. Since the net force on massless pulley is always zero, F must balance the resultant of both the tensions. Since both the tensions are of equal magnitude and at 90 degrees to each other, their resultant is root 2t at an angle 45 degrees with horizontal. Thus, F is equal to root 2t. Putting the value of t, this becomes root 2 mg by 3. The direction of this force will be 45 degrees with horizontal. This is our answer. To request any solution from H C Verma book, post the question number and chapter number in comments below. Please like and share the video to help other students reach us. subscribe the channel for further updates thank you for watching